In this tutorial, I will be going over how to make this smooth logo flip effect in DaVinci Resolve 18. First thing you need to do before making this effect is to speed ramp your clip. After that, go to a point where the clip has slowed down and copy the clip. Make a new compound clip and then freeze the frame. Cut the clip to where you have freezed the frame. Now we have a speed ramp that transitions to a freezed frame. Copy the freezed frame two times. Open the top one in color page and make a mask around the badge. Add some softness and remember to add alpha output. Move the top clip out of the way and open the middle clip in the color page. Make a mask on the car's paint. It has to be about the size of the logo. Add alpha output and move to sizing window. Change the values so the mask covers the logo. Go back to the mask window and add some feathering to the outside. Great, now we have successfully removed the logo. Combine the three freeze frame clips into one new fusion clip. We will only adjust the media in three because it is the logo layer. First, add transform. Add a keyframe for center and size in the beginning. Move few frames and add another keyframe. Adjust the values to your liking. Move few frames forward, add yet another keyframe but don't adjust anything. Now reset the values in the end of the clip. Open the spline window, check size. Select all the points and press S on your keyboard to smooth them out. Do the same for center. Add DVE. Add a keyframe on the first frame for rotation Y. Move to the end and change the value to 720. Move pivot to the middle of the clip. Open spline window and smooth out the graph. Find drop shadow. Don't copy this part from me since the light source is different for every clip. When you are ready, find camera shake. Move the value down quite a bit since we only want slight movement. Change the edges to mirror. 
Now you are ready to close Fusion. Cut the bottom clip where the effect clip starts and move it so it continues after the effect. Now we only need to add motion blur. Press your DVE node and click the settings window open. Select motion blur and adjust it to 5. Do the same for transform. That's basically it.